crucial update for Bitcoin, guys. All of you VIP, etc., please pay attention to the 11 plus percent drop we had today. Now, El Salvador went live. I want to talk about their going live. Apparently, guys, up to 70 percent of the actual people that live in El Salvador said they did not want Bitcoin. I want to talk to you guys about that. Just a brief update. That is the information that I have heard. This is London with the crypto kingdom and Bitcoin spike. Nothing we would have anticipated that individuals in El Salvador actually did not want to participate and did not want i believe they were going to receive 30 free dollars guys in addition to uh to transferring into uh to bitcoin using as a national currency a big move for bitcoin we thought for adoption but apparently guys that's the circumstance down as much as 20 percent i want to go through some technicals very quickly you guys know we try and bring you accurate information in a timely manner yesterday we brought you soul i was so excited we brought you that guys because why that was the one coin that had just i mean it was literally the light in the darkness guys it was really really nice it beat the entirety of the market you guys booked positive trades i think bigger trades than what you may have lost in bitcoin so congratulations to anyone who traded soul let's look at this 20 percent, guys how it worked out um those who were ready at the 50 percent retracement you guys um a lot of you may have had orders ready i just want to talk about that because that was a huge huge quick rebound that people received uh, to the tune of about eight plus percent guys um back up to forty six thousand um from guys it went all the way down to about forty two thousand five hundred forty two thousand eight hundred so we were at you guys know this we were at 52,955. I said I liked it over 51. And guys, I did with the news, with the adoption, everything else. It seemed technically indicated as well um, above this previous area right in here. We seem to have conquered that. It was a nice, healthy move to the upside. And uh, guys, it was just one of those things. I, I would not have imagined that people in El Salvador would not have wanted to use Bitcoin. So uh, very, very interesting news. Let's go through some technicals. I want, I want to talk about this preceding zone here. Okay, this uh, during this run up that we had in the in the initial part of the year let's look at around uh, this area and around from january on up through um april on up through april that high of 64.86310 let's talk about some of the lines that we see in here i want to talk about the move to the downside where we could be right now what it means for your altcoins and uh let, let's let's get into the details we have kind of i'd say a, a dual channel here in the beginning of the year i think this will help you guys in terms of how to measure fallout like this if it were to continue what are your targets zones that's the key guys and remember we're never overexposed at any higher level that's the good thing we actually moved angel and i moved into a position yesterday to kind of pepper into our key investment and ready to double down we did that yesterday guys kind of in preparation just kind of you know i don't know you know anything that, that may be uncertain or new news um or a uh, different event we always want to be prepared so i peppered in i just went real light into our key investment and uh, we doubled down into it guys as it dropped today we were perfectly prepared and just guys the the way to prepare for that is to never be overexposed at a higher price you guys know that so let's talk about these channels in the beginning here as we look at this guys we have kind of an upward uh, portion of this channel we have a downward portion of this channel uh, let's, at least i'd say the uh, the resistance and the support let's talk about that we have two lines across the top and the reason i'm drawing this out like this is i want to measure this right here and I want to show you what we achieved in terms of I'm going to say achieved in terms of a value guys if, if we are to stack that and that technical analysis is going to say that the move the break out of this channel would be essentially down to this level let's go to the candlesticks and guys we're just about right on there okay from the point of the breakout we measure that and guys we did achieve that earlier in the year about 29,657 it dropped from what was that 52,445 sorry for the beeps those are alerts going off trading view so anytime you have a channel that's expressed and this is kind of a bifurcated channel i want to talk about that here okay we have kind of an upward um, an upper uh, bound of the channel and a lower bound that's respected along this um, this trajectory up a, a phenomenal trajectory up in the beginning of the year we're kind of in the same zone here i want to talk about that guys please Pay attention. You see the upward bound, the upward area of the channel, correct? The downward area of the channel, I would like to see that get filled in the same as it's filled in here and provide us some price action in this zone in here, okay? So what I'm going to talk about, though, and I'm going to apply kind of uh, via analogy, guys, if we did go ahead and we measured out almost perfectly to the drop here, just be prepared for, you know, kind of an exact, I, I'm going to say a very nice trade. To tell you the truth, this would be a really phenomenal trade. This, for people who were ready, this was a 45% trade to the upside 
if this did break down here, guys, on the right-hand side, and sorry for those alerts. Those, those are my alerts for uh, RSIs going off in the background. You guys know I also prepared you guys for this in terms of having that crypto screener on TradingView. I prepared you guys for this in terms of RSI, sifting through, looking for those, you know, deep, deep digs um, What you know amidst this uh, this drop. So I'm, I'm excited that we were able to provide you that and Seoul. Uh, just, uh, yeah, it was kind of a, a good day amidst everything because I know I had provided you guys that, and it was technically indicated it would go up. It was a great day. So as we look at this, guys, as we as we look at Bitcoin and what it could do, I just want to talk about what it could do on the downside. If we were to measure this, again, just by analogy, just looking at the, uh, I'd say looking at this, uh, the preceding uh, pricing interval here, if we were to apply the same logic here, guys, and I've lined out some Fibonacci's, you guys can take a screenshot if you want to. I've just lined that up, okay, as we standardly do. I, I measure, uh, essentially, I start the Fibonacci, and you guys know how to draw those. Just go over underneath the pitchfork, select retracements, and guys, we just draw that on up, okay? We draw it from the low. And the low is going to be established, excuse me, the low will be established by this breakout level right in here. And you'll see it was exactly there at about the 50% uh, retracement, right about 42,660 hit today for a nice move here. Now, again, if we were to to extrapolate the, uh, I'd, I'd say the framework of the this uh, this preceding interval here, and with the surprise of, uh, I just can't believe that people did not want to, it, they reject up to 70% was the, was the information I heard. And, you know, I heard a lot of people saying it was a whale drop, anything like that, just Pay attention to this, guys. Look at this. Does this look like a whale drop? You know, I just want to. I want to talk about that. Does that really look like a whale drop? I really don't think so, guys. I really don't think this is like a you know a whale activity. Any kind of you know suspicion. Just look at how light the volume has been. If anything, this could have been you know along with news, etc. It could have been just kind of a corrective event, um, a, a light volume corrective event. I would say if you look at the volume earlier in the year, you'll see that we went through quite a bit of volume. Um, you look at this. Uh, we had a a lot of big green candles, a lot of a lot of momentum pushing up the price earlier in the year. And, you know, the uh, the gains were phenomenal. Let's just look at that. Guys, from in and around, uh, what was this? Uh, I'd say uh, August, September of last year. Guys, to up and around uh, March, it was, uh, you know, Bitcoin went up 500 and, excuse me, 530%, uh, maximizing uh, out at uh, all-time high is 64 $64,863.10. $64, so that has been, you know, this has been the performer for the year. It's been very nice. And uh, we, we like the price action. I'm going to tell you guys, if it, if it goes lower we like to double down into it our strategy here you guys know the vip strategy is to double or triple down at every single level here to make sure you're never uh overexposed at a higher price and always you guys know we we are real 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 concerned on you know you understand heavy cash reserves at the lower lower levels that's the only way you can capture the value is if you have those cash reserves on hand so as we look at this guys if we were to again uh, and not to belabor the point sorry for those beeps those are rsis going off in the background looking for acquisitions looking for value if we were to measure the entirety of this channel down to the next level it will depend upon where the breakout may be i would be surprised if it doesn't coincide with one of the Fibonacci. So you guys can be prepared for that and just understand a breakdown like we had earlier today. I know a lot of people uh, got involved, you know, in catching that dip. And guys, when, when you when you can catch, uh, you know, some aggressive price action to the downside, guys, you know, earlier in the year, people picked up a 23% gain. Guys, that's in one day, just bam, nice, nice return. So when we have an event like today, when there was an unexpected, guys, very unexpected pricing event, I'll just tell you guys this, is, and the market's full of this, guys. It, it always it, it always reinforces the fact that we uh, we always maintain cash reserves. We're always ready to double and triple down at lower levels. It's just an opportunity for value. We are very long in Bitcoin. And uh, in terms of the, uh, the the overall trajectory and viewpoint, in terms of where it's headed, guys, we think it's headed for good things. Now, in in terms of looking at this, I know it seems a bit severe if we were to get to thirty seven thousand seven hundred. Uh, okay, that's that's you know that's a lower price. What it does, guys, it would express more value. I'm going to tell you guys in terms of your alts as well. Some of your alts have gone so well. We've traded Luna up over what's that over six hundred percent overall from our from our pricing target. A lot of you've been in Seoul. A lot of you've been in different uh, different coins in your waiting for those coins to kind of go off now guys i wouldn't say that this this is completely over i'm going to tell you guys this we are still in this channel formation we have not broken down out of this as we look and we eliminate the candlesticks let's just take a look here we're still within this zone guys we're still you know people are still going to be trading the fibonacci's um in this level on the on the kind of the macro 
intermediary macro, I would say. Not the uh, the absolutely tight macro uh, within this area here, but definitely within, you know, uh, I'd say within uh, some sort of an interval uh, macro that we would get to uh, in a long, uh, a, a, a mid-level inter interim macro is what I would call it. Um, not the entirety of the macro, not down to ground zero, but, you know, just kind of the interim right in here, this uh, this periodic move, pricing move in this area. So uh, what I would say is, you know, be looking for trades and then along this zone. I would probably honestly line this out just to get a better understanding of it with something like a pitchfork. I would want to see exactly what are these, what, you know, what is the trajectory right now? What is the, uh, you know, I always do this to take a look at the trend. I want to see, you know, what is this upper and lower bound? I then want to also, I want to, you know, divide that with, you know, you, it, it gets a little difficult to see. Let me make this red line here a little bit more, a uh, little bit more visible there. If you guys can see that now I have the mid level I have this mid-level zone, which has contact, contact, and which has a little hitch in here. You guys can see the small hitch in there, and I can go back and modify this. It's kind of a quick draw on the fly so you can understand what I do in terms of defining the extreme lower, the extreme upper, and kind of the intermediary or kind of the middle zones, kind of the middle level of tolerance of these uh, of the channels. That gives me a better idea when I'm looking at uh, specific uh, pricing targets. It's also going to tell me when we've broken, uh, when we've broken down from the channel, and you guys understand when you've broken that pricing trend that's when things earlier in the year got very aggressive towards you so uh, just be, be prepared and I will say this guys if you have an experience today with Bitcoin or your alts that are down 10% or 15% some of your alts down 20% you haven't been in the market too long so it's a uh, and I'll just say that it's just this is crypto so the solution to that is always having heavy cash reserves on the on the lower side guys and uh, that's just that is what we do and uh, I normally draw something out like this and guys I will turn it green and you guys know I have been doing this and doing this throughout the entirety of this um, and I just you know I, I, I go ahead and do that I let you guys know you know that represents your heavy cash reserves right and it's really whatever your level of exposure is you know and the on the upper ends guys it is it is this in terms of cash reserves at the lower levels what does that ensure guys it ensures if we ever do get down to these levels again you're able to capitalize on that you're able to bring in heavier amounts of cash to pick up bitcoin at a lower price to pick up your altcoins at a lower price and you guys have seen how phenomenally that has worked out so in terms of uh, let's say in closing excuse me in terms of in closing this, I will go over one more pattern, but I'll also just encourage you maybe to look over into, um, if you can look into, let's say, uh, this type of a dynamic, uh, let, let's pull this over, this type of a dynamic, and just understand right now we're still within an express channel, much like the beginning of the year. Um, we were still on an upward trajectory, and uh, yeah, this is bifurcated, guys. We have kind of an upper bound here, which was a channel. We have this lower bound as well that was uh, respected, and it was rejected, guys. So um, in terms of that, just uh, stay alert on that. I do want to go over one more pattern because it's something that we have definitely, uh, definitely spoken about. Let's remove the drawings for right now and let's talk about this. We are, guys, we are, we are in the process right now of breaking uh, breaking out still breaking out i'm gonna say still breaking out we have officially broken out certainly but breaking out of a descending wedge you guys know that that has been the bullish pattern that we have broken out of on the macro okay that's on the macro that's the large scale time frame it's been a huge uh, a huge huge profit um uh, I'd, I'd say uh, opportunity for profit um buying from the low at least to to where we're at now is about 60 percent maxed out at over 80 percent within 47 days guys that's been phenomenal the price action has been wonderful i know a lot of you have profits um just make sure those those uh those uh those heavy cash reserves are at lower levels and do again i would encourage all of you to take a look at the volume in terms of any suspicion well the whales got on us or anything guys understand look how small this volume is it's just not there's not much to it so so one, one thing, again, I will I will reassert is the fact this could be kind of a, a volume corrective event um, as much as uh, you don't want to think that. I mean, when prices do traject this much to the upside on very low volume, it's almost like a, an equilibrium that may be established. So. I would look for the break in that channel much along the way the line excuse me that I had lined out here I would not want to be a part of anything that looked like this guys anything that looked like that that area there um, and uh, we didn't want that we don't want the pitchfork again but this right in here this area right here excuse me uh, we do not want to be a part of this uh, certainly we don't want to be a part of this the possibility that we could right now return to this 
line of resistance and try and confirm it as support that is a possibility. In the meantime, guys, before you get there, you're probably going to hit some of those Fibonacci. So make sure you are you are structured in your approach that you're using your strategy. I'm, I was very uh, pleased that we gave you the soul video yesterday. Um, not only that I knew that you guys had made money, um, but what I would say is that uh, I also knew amidst the drop that the VIPs that all you guys are definitely using your strategy. I wasn't worried at all. I'm like, I, I know that they know about heavy cash reserves. They know to double or triple down. And guys, it takes a lot of patience, but you guys are really, really great. We appreciate having you as a part of the channel. Now, in looking at this, guys, you can line out your Fibonacci's. If you want to draw them differently, you're, wel you're welcome to draw them differently. A lot of people will draw them on the candles in this situation if you draw to the top of the wicks it's not going to make that much of a difference i do believe that this cut down here in terms of this previous level of resistance we we like to draw them excuse me we like to draw our fibonacci's from that point of breakout right there and i do think that that excuse me that that is clearly expressed in this specific instance as the level that did hit this 50% retracement here. So, uh, yeah, just uh, go get them, guys. And I, we will talk about Soul. We'll talk about uh, Fetch AI is doing well. Fetch, I've been a fan for a while. It is a uh, it is a crypto that deals with, uh, what is it, commodities, I believe. Uh, that and Numera. I think Numera is interesting. Um, it's, a, it's a hedge fund currency, so I think that's also interesting. So as you look this uh, look through this pricing action, guys, just um, enjoy it. Try and enjoy the price action. When we get these levels of volatility, I went through and did a little bit of a, excuse me, I, I did a little bit of an analysis earlier on today. I sent that out in a tweet, but essentially what I did, guys, I went through and I counted the number of times that we had a drop in excess of 15%. And guys, I think we had in this year alone on, on, on Bitcoin, guys, I believe we had, uh, you know, I think it was like seven or eight specific days alone that we had a drop of at least 15%. So, um, and, and I, you guys can check on Twitter. Make sure you check on Twitter for that information. It's just, uh, this is Bitcoin. This is what it likes to do. It likes to express value and volatility. So get used to it and enjoy it. We're excited that you guys are VIPs and that you're members. We're excited that we were able, excuse me, to bring you guys the soul video yesterday. I know it's been hot, but guys, it, it, it kind of defied the entirety of the market. So we're going to we're going to uh, count that as a feather in our cap and really in the all's cap uh, in terms of, of the ability to trade that and beat the market. You guys know we're always trying to achieve alpha. What is alpha? The percentage by which you beat the market. So you definitely did it with soul. We're looking forward to you guys. Uh, I don't know, guys, paying attention, if you guys would like to look into that information that I received in terms of the Hondurans, I'm not, I'm sorry, not Hondurans, the El Salvadorians, um, excuse me, I met someone from from Honduras today that was also El, uh, El Salvadorian, and uh, we, we spoke about Bitcoin, but I did not know that the people in El Salvador, uh, just uh, that they might just express the fact they didn't want to use Bitcoin, so um, I'm not sure how that will be, uh, it may just take a while, I know McDonald's and some other um, businesses down there have decided to go ahead, and they're, they're accepting that is legal tender. I think it's something that will take some time. One thing for sure, El Salvador did get an extra bonus today. They got some more value on some additional Bitcoin they bought. I hope you did too and that you looked at this as an opportunity to accumulate and you'll look at a further expression of price to the downside as nothing more than an opportunity to gain value. We're always looking for that. Guys, this is London with the Crypto Kingdom. Thank you so much for everything and thank you for being plugged in in the back rooms. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>